Hello all, welcome to Netbook and welcome back to Microsoft Tutorials. Today I am planning to talk about how we can send an email uh, along with attachments using the Microsoft. In my previous video, I have explained how we can send an email using the Microsoft. If you have not looked into that video, please click on the above link. In this video, I am going to show how we can send attachments. It is a specific uh, data we code you need to write to send a, any attachments. Let me go to uh, one of the email. Let me open the, my email box. So if I open this email and uh, I can see that there is attachment. If you see attachment, it has a name of the file. When I open it, the file has file content. This is the file name that is attachment name. This is the attachment content. So that means we can send a more than one uh, attachment in a mail and each ma uh, attachment should have file name associated with the file content. That is how we need to send. So I have prepared one request over here. In my previous request, I used to send this. Now. I'm sending attachments over here. It has a file name, welcome document.pdf and file content. This is the date, uh, base64 data, which I converted online. PDF data I have converted into base64. And uh, similarly, I have another attachment attached over here in the down. Let me show that. The file name is netbooklogo.png and the file content, same, the PNG I have converted into base64 online now this data i'm going to receive as input in my api now what i want to do if i want to send the attachment i need to perform certain steps i need to write a data view code for mapping the file name file content i need to convert that base64 data which i'm sending through the request to actual uh, file and then i need to map that attachment to the send component let me start. This is my previous uh, API send uh, email uh, uh, which I have explained. When I open it, this is my flow. Over here, I'm going to take transform message over here. In the transform message, I'm going to write a data view code to set a variable called attachments. Variable attachments. Click on OK. Now I need to map those attachments. If you see my payload, payload have all this data. Under this data, I have a attachments is the array list of attachments. I can send it. Uh, so I'm receiving attachments over here. Payload dot attachments. So these attachments I need to map. So when I'm going to map, I need to send file name associated to the file content. This is the file name. That is the key and file content. But the problem is file content, right? Dollar dot file content. The problem is if I send it like this, this is a key actually, right? So dollar dot file name, that is what I'm receiving for this particular key. The value is this one. The value will go over here. But I need to put a braces over here for that. Okay, that is amazing. And another thing is this is object and this is within the object we need to have an array of files. So I'm going to use over here this braces. Okay, so this is how I need to map it. So this is the file name, the value welcome underscore document dot PDF that will go and associated to the document content, this value will go. But this document 
content is base64 data which I need to convert into binary format. So in the data view I have something called from base64 in mule4. So we have a function from base64. I have explained this function in my data view session or data view uh, video. You can look into that. Over here I need to import this library and then I want to use from base64 is the method which I should call over here. So this will convert into binary format. That simple the data view code which I want to write it over here. Now this variable I need to map it into the send component over here. If you see that in the down this over here I should have a variable should be passed over here where should dot attachments that simple it is so the first step is I need to map this correctly and the second step is I need to convert into binary format the third step is I need to pass per you know variable in a um, attachments mapping over here save it let me test it this flow now right click run this project while running this project I'm going to prepare my request I have over here my request I have prepared previously this one now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the complete data with a new request over here with attachments let me take it this so control C I'm going to map it this over here now let me see if this project is deployed yes it is deployed now when I send this request if you see that I should receive an email in this email box let me open that email box also show you that it is uh, it is uh, not there any email with that currently so this is my email box which I should receive so let me test it now I'm going to submit this request send now I should see the successful response over here yes the status is okay that means the email sent successfully now if I go to this email box now we can see that there is a welcome email welcome to netbook this is the email which I received and if you see this is zero minutes ago it is received and over here this is the PNG and over here this is the logo the file the file name and the file content it is coming and then similarly the PDF file this is the welcome document dot PDF and the PDF document is this one that simple it is so for the extension of the previous video I have explained the data view code which we need to map the file name file content and the file content we need to convert into binary format from the base64 and map that variables over here in the send component I hope this is clear for everybody that's it for today thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe netbook see you in the next video thank you